Princess Anne and Duchess Sophie team up to host a palace reception on behalf of the king. The Royal Princess and Duchess of Edinburgh teamed up on behalf of King Charles to mark the 70th anniversary of the Korean War and honor veterans of the war. At a prestigious event at Buckingham Palace today, Princess Anne and Duchess Sophie hosted an important reception for around 200 Korean War veterans to commemorate what was once known as the Forgotten War. The duo met with representatives from the Embassy of the Republic of Korea, the Ministry of Defense and the Royal British Legion on behalf of His Majesty. Dressed for the occasion, Princess Anne wore a simple turquoise dress with long sleeves, while Duchess Sophie wore a long dress with a floral pattern, also in turquoise and blue, to match Princess Anne. The royal duo greeted and shook hands together with those in attendance, and separately spoke to veterans. Members receive special offers, promotions and advertising from us and our partners. You can check out at any time. More information. Although there was no formal reception, His Majesty held an audience with four Korean War veterans before the reception. King Charles, who was spotted today in a car leaving Windsor Castle in convoy, is currently undergoing treatment following his cancer diagnosis, which was announced on February 5. Although he is refraining from public duties while he recovers, he remains committed to his duty. Receives his red government boxes and attends meetings with Rishi Swank whenever possible. Princess Anne will also deliver a heartfelt speech on Charles's behalf to her audience at Buckingham Palace. July 2023 marks the 70th anniversary of the signing of the armistice that ended the Korean War. In November 2023, as part of a state visit to Korea, the Duke of Gloucester accompanied the President and First Lady of the Republic of Korea and laid a wreath at the Korean War Memorial in London.